the schoolboy Q. You're listening to Tor Ray, the Tor Guy on Hip Hop Nation. Hip Hop Nation, Hip Hop Hits, period. It's your Tor Guy, Tor Ray. I got the man with the one of the most anticipated albums of the year. The man of the year. You know what I mean? I got Groovy yeah. Crew in the building. What's good, brother? <laughs> I'm chilling, you know. Chilly chill out here one time. Trying to get this. Trying to turn the heater on everywhere I go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. How you, you're, a, you're a L.A. guy, so yeah. what's this cold weather treating you like? See, I'm still all uh, <laughs> bundled up. over here. You know <laughs> what I mean? I got to keep it real cozy one time for him because it's too cold, like 12 degrees or something crazy. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I ain't never, I ain't never felt nothing like that in my life. But, I mean, around February, it should heat up. About February 25th or so, right? Oh, yeah. It's, shit, it's going to heat up from now to February. <laughs> it's a little hot. It's just hot where I walk in. That's why I say I'm trying to turn the heat up everywhere I go. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So we got the official major label release. Yeah, yeah. Oxymoron. Yeah, about let's, time, let's, you know. Let's, let's talk about the title of the album. Why Oxymoron? Um, All the bad I do is to do good by my daughter, you know. Okay. So that's the oxymoron. It's like kind of like a paradox, but it's still it's an oxymoron. I do okay. bad to do good. You know? Not a, not a play on the oxycotton thing. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's From your it has life. something. To, it has something to do with it. It's okay. just like a double entendre. Right, right, but right. But that's not really the main focus of the album. So okay. It was a dope a double entendre. Got you. Got oxymoron, you. I thought. You know. Yeah. <laughs> word up, word up. So, I mean, what's the difference from, you know, Habits and Contradictions and, you know, to, to now? What's the difference in the music? What's the difference with the with the major machine? I mean, TDE has been in the fold for a minute, but now Interscope is in the picture. How's it changed for you? Um, A lot more walking around and <laughs> talking to people and shaking a lot more hands. Right, right. You, know? you got to do interviews with guys yeah. like me uh, and shit. Nah, nah, none of that. You know, it's all good. But... You know, no, I haven't really saw the benefit of it yet. You know, they pressing my album up. That's, that's important. Good. Yeah, yeah, that's important. You know, they pay for flights. That's pretty good. But well, I mean, they're gonna that, charge it back to you at some well, point. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> but you know, I don't see that money really anyway. So why not? No doubt. Musically, but, is there is there a difference? Is there a different writing approach, different production style? I mean, I'm just doing me. Every album never sound. Setbacks didn't sound like habits, and habits won't sound like Ox. You got to recreate. Every time you come out, man, like you know, like nothing Jay did sounded like anything. Nothing Nas did sounded like anything. You gotta mm-hmm. be up there with the greats if you wanna compare yourself to the greats. You gotta carry yourself like the greats. So I'm gonna keep renewing myself every album, man. You know, I don't care how long it takes—three years, four years, a year, a month, whatever. How long it takes for me to recreate a whole new something for a whole new direction for my next album. That's what I'm going to do. I recreated on this album. That's all. You just you just mentioned Jay and Nas. Yeah. Now, you're a, a left coast dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you mentioned two east coast artists. Do you get inspiration from? Yeah, Nas is my favorite rapper right. of all time, you know. Nas, Nasir. Okay. Um also but, but though Nas is my favorite rapper, I'm not in denial that Jay-Z is the best rapper to ever do it. He's the best ever. Like I don't care what nobody say. Like from every aspect of it, he's the best ever. Right. You know what I mean? Though Nas is my favorite. Um, Biggie, Wu Tang, um, DMX. Like, come on! Like East Coast had dropped a lot of, a lot of heat. You know, we what got about Snoop Dogg, right, Brown, West Dre, right. Dre. You know what I mean? N.W.A. Kendrick, Game. But other than that. I can't really speak. Besides E40, you know, that's Bay Area. E40, too short. E40, one of the ambassadors of the coast. You know what I mean? Like, um, Messi Marv, DJ Quick. You know what I mean? Besides, you know, besides them, it's like, it's not, it's only a handful of, or what left coast rappers that everybody knows about, you know, but it's a, a million East Coast rappers that everybody know about, you know, so. No doubt. You know, the East Coast is, East Coast, they made better music for than us for a long time, to me. Okay. You know, because they had more people. Okay. That's only why I would say that. You right, know, but right, we right. made we made classic albums, too. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, but y'all just was, had more people and more consistency. Just everybody dropping from the East Coast. You know what I mean? Like, so. Uh, yeah. I think the West is catching up. I definitely think you uh, have yeah, we something, there. We something there. to do with it. We yeah, there. yeah, yeah. We're we going to talk about... The West Coast, we're going to talk about the crew. We're going to talk about this new West, because I yeah. think it's a, a new resurgence. We're going to get into all that and more. This is Hip Hop Nation, your tour guy, baby. <laughs>